We are about to go on the adventure of a lifetime. Dad, what are we doing? We are climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro! So we are actually here already. We're at the very start. It's up there, it's in the clouds. You can't even see it. So we're taking the Lamosha route, which means we are gonna be hiking for nine days. And I'm super excited, but honestly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I started to feel super nervous yesterday, but it's gonna be really good. We all have matching shirts. Audrey, show yours. Spencer? Pole pole. Pole pole. <laughs> so pole pole means slowly, slowly and Swahili. Basically, that's like the motto of this hike because you don't want to rush it. Otherwise, you're going to get mega altitude sickness. And we've started. Ah, so cool. The very first day, we're in the rainforest biome, obviously, you can tell. And the really cool thing about the Lamosho brew is that we get to see a bunch of different biomes. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh my goodness, look at my boots. <laughs> no, bye bye team boots. How are we feeling? Not good. <laughs> we are seeing so much wildlife here on this hike. In that tree right there, there's a family of monkeys. <laughs> Oh, it's peeing! Ah! It's peeing! It's peeing! Oh, that was almost bad! Oh! No! Incoming! Oh my goodness. I can't believe I got that camera run, Dad. That little stinker tried to get us. You are lucky. I am lucky. I was so close. This close. You would have had that on your head for the next nine days. <laughs> I know. I think we only have like 30 minutes left of hiking, so we're actually pretty close. And today has actually been really, really fun. Like, it is so, so beautiful here. We've seen so many animals, and I'm just so happy to be here. We made it! Yay! So here's base camp. Well, not base camp, but camp for tonight. <laughs> now welcome okay, to the mess yeah. tent. This is where we're gonna eat our food. Whoa, look at that. So for our little pre-dinner snack, we have popcorn. Ooh, it's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah. Wow. The soup today uh, fresh pumpkin. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. So here's our crew. Everyone's here. Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and Osea? Oh, how are you guys? <laughs> you doing good, everybody? Yes! Yay. Salud! Woo. Brandon Phillips from Indianapolis. Woo. Ryan Sparks from Denver, Colorado. Ryan Zekas from Colorado. Yeah. Alberto Santiago from New York. Yay! Yeah. And of course, the Icy family. As you know. <laughs> I thought that was all of dinner, but that's not all of dinner. Yeah, that's Spencer's. We have the avocado salad, we have the coconut rice, we have the fried chicken, and peanut stew, and green beans. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Day two of hiking! Two. Woo! We have Saji here in the back with us <laughs> because Dad and I are usually at the back of the pack. <laughs> we like to go very poly poly. Um, but it is so gorgeous. I think today we're going from the rainforest to the heather zone. Yeah. So we're gonna see a change in scenery really soon. But we started off the day with an amazing little like dance party almost <laughs> and songs and it was so cool. The porters here are so awesome. All the guides and the leaders, they're amazing. Audrey Spencer, say hi. Hi. Woohoo! Hello. <laughs> How are you feeling day two? Pretty good. Great, I've been ready since 1.30 in the morning, baby. Yeah, Audrey woke up at 1.30 ready to go. <laughs> Dad and I woke up at 4 a.m. 
And by then we had eight hours of sleep, so we're like, man, we're ready to go hiking already. Time for a snack break. <laughs> What's your snack of choice? I have chocolate. <laughs> Pistachio. Pistachios. I got a Mars bar from breakfast this morning. That's what I had. I've, well. I've never had one. It's good. And then of course, lots of electrolyte water. Yep. And we're now in the biome number two. Biome number two. Take a look. Whoa. So I feel like the main difference here is the colors are more muted and the trees are way shorter and more like like sticky versus like yeah yeah and there's a lot more rocks and we're like literally in a cloud right now. We saw a uh, black ant's nest in a tree. <laughs> yeah it's black ants nest in a tree. I was like how do ants even get up in a tree like that? That's crazy. Here's the crazy ant nest in a tree. That looks terrifying to me. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Careful where you step and touch. Mm, yeah, literally. It's getting steeper. Watch your feet, don't be going to the camera. Yep. Look at that. What's that called? Africa. Protea Kilimanjari. Oh. Cool. We made it to lunch! Woo! So we're starting with course one. We get three courses. We're so spoiled. But we got cream of chicken soup today. Just maybe So amazing. Are you all hungry? Oh yeah. Ready to go. Yes. The food was so good. I'm so full. Good night. What's the resort like right Cut the camera. We are busting out the hiking sticks. Gives you a little bit more stability as you go over some of this. Terrain. Rocky terrain. It's getting really rainy now. <laughs> Bonus to our adventure, that's what it is. We're still in the game. Oh, you can yeah. see all this water that we wouldn't have seen normally. Okay, we made it. Day two. Yay. This is Shira Camp. Oh. Boom, boom. We did it. Nice. Yay. Wow, we are glowing red. <laughs> okay guys, day two is complete. We made it to camp. It's only four. And so we have a lot of time before dinner. Dinner's at like 7.30 or eight tonight. Also, can you hear it rain? Yeah. It's, it's so rainy legit. here. Yeah. This isn't sound effect. <laughs> so we have some time. Um, we actually downloaded a movie on our phone. <laughs> a whole series. A whole series, like TV show. <laughs> so dad and I are gonna watch an episode. We have our snacks out. Look, we've got this yummy cheese it mix and goldfish and edamame, yummy stuff. And so we're gonna do that for a little bit. Maybe, maybe take a nap. I don't know, we'll Come see. I also have Audrey's book <laughs> that she's letting me borrow. She's taking a nap. But this has been so good. I'm excited for day three. But that wraps it up for today. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> okay, how was the last night, guys? Good. Good. Some tea, coffee. Um, do you have hot chocolate? Chocolate? Yeah, thank you. Good morning, y'all. It is day three. Woo, the sun is so bright. It is a beautiful day. We woke up to so much sun, and we finally see the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro. And it is so exciting, because the entire time it's been in the clouds, it's been like a little mystery. Um, and it's just like so big in person. And I can't believe we're actually going all the way to the top. So this morning, um, I thought it'd be fun to go around and introduce you to some of our amazing, amazing porters and our guides and the chef and all of these amazing people at Killy Warriors who make this adventure possible, who seriously spoil us. They treat us so good. And I just want to give them a big Asante Sana or a big thank you. Jumbo. Jumbo. My name is William. William. I am a porter. Woohoo. you feel Stine Dominic. I am a porter. Zaya Fumani, porter. My name is Brown Victor. Walter. Longo. Geoffrey. Christian. Moses. Ambrose. Tumaini. Jazz. The Augusti. Lotte. Loma. Davis. Hilary. Lawrence. Julia. Shie. Esau. I'm Porter. 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 I'm Porter. Asante Welcome Sana. to Manzaro. Yeah. Asante Sana. My name is Baraka Sifaeli. Otafilta. Saidi Musa. Camp manager. It's Paulina. I'm a waiter. Yes, yeah, the best waiter. She's so good. Juma Useni Dishiosha. Joshua Bombo. I'm Dishiosha. So, my name is Wilson. He's a kitchen helper. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that one. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Woohoo! My name is Juma. I am chef. Adam Juma. 
Let's do some chip. <laughs> <laughs> the food is so good. We are, we are Kili, Kili Warriors guys. Guy. Yeah, so my name is Moses Samuel. As your, as your Kili Warriors head guide, you are welcome. Thank you. I am a Gilbert. I am assistant guide. Woohoo! My name is Efata. As assistant guide. Woohoo! My name is Sir Jason. I'm assistant guide. Asante Thank you. Sana. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so in the morning, what we get to do is we come in, put all of our stuff in our duffel bag, and we leave it here. And they weigh these bags to make sure they're no more than like 30 pounds, because. Yeah. That's a heavy thing to be carrying up the mountain. Well, yeah, too, so. the porters are so strong. <laughs> so we're trying to make them light. Like we're trying to only pack like what we need in here, but <laughs> we also have lots of snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, wow, look at this. Day three hiking is going good so far. We're in the moorlands. Yeah. Moreland, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm saying it right. So the vegetation is lower than it was yesterday. Everyone's doing so good. Cool. The clouds rolled in. Whoa, I look crazy. <laughs> the ball of fuzz right here. And it literally looks like we're walking in like a video game now <laughs> where the map isn't loading properly. Do it is crazy. I'm comparing everything to video games. I know, I was walking through earlier and I'm like, this looks like Minecraft. Oh no, it's raining a little. Uh-oh. Time to get the rain jacket. No, on. we just put them away. <laughs> All right, guys, day three is complete. Um, normally we would do an acclimatization hike at the end of today, but our guide said that it is too wet and rainy and too slippery to do that. So we are back at camp. We have, we got here kind of early, so we have a lot of time. It's like 3.30. So like, we're probably gonna chill, have some popcorn and snacks. Um, let me show you, it's really rainy. We can't even see it very well on camera, but trust us. So anyways, we're just gonna chill for the rest of the little day, eat some dinner, and so far I'm feeling really great for day three. Like, I'm honestly so impressed that, like, I haven't felt any altitude sickness. Like, the only effects of altitude that I've felt is, like, it's harder to catch my breath when I'm hiking, but it's not really a big deal. It's like when you're working out and you're, like, breathing heavy. That's what it feels like. We'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Goodbye. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's literally the middle of the night. I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm trying to be quiet, did not wake up anybody else. But I thought I'd give you an update. So last we talked, I was like, oh, I'm doing perfectly fine, normal, I haven't felt anything. <laughs> and then, now it's starting to actually hit. So I think, I don't think I'm feeling altitude sickness. I think what happened was during dinner, I drank this like Alka-Seltzer sort of thing to help like, how do you explain like this? Or... Essentially, I've gone to the bathroom so many times tonight. It's not even funny. I don't even think I have any liquid or food left in my entire body. <laughs> this might be a TMI, but it's I'm talking number two, not number one. I already go number one a lot every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now how I'm feeling is I don't really want to eat anything. I think it's just because I'm scared that like if I eat, I'm gonna like be nauseous or something but I need to eat stuff um, because we have another hike ahead of us really soon in the morning. So that's the update. <laughs> but you feel okay. I feel okay. You just have had to okay. go. Okay. You've, you've cleansed yourself, but you feel okay yes. right now. It's mostly, I think it freaked me out because I wasn't expecting it. And so now I'm like scared. You're fine. <laughs> but I don't think it's anything to do with altitude sickness. I just thought I'd jump on here and give you a little update because I think it's kind of funny that literally last night I was like, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> Tonight has been so crazy. Not clickbait, look at this. Ah! Oh my goodness, you can see the mountain coming up. The actual peak is over there in the clouds. Oh, the clouds are rolling in, but it was like so gorgeous. I'll go down a little bit. We are so close to camp. Just this bridge in like 15 more minutes, then we're there. Look at that. There's the sign. We did it. We did it. Good job, man. Respect all. Ding. Holy cow. We just made it. Day to four. the lava rock camp. 
Oh my gosh. That one for me was by far the hardest day, which is crazy because that's the shortest hike of the entire trek. But it was like so rainy and windy the whole time. And so your, your vision, you can only look like down really for four hours. <laughs> Today was tough, and I think mainly because of the weather, because you just couldn't look anywhere. And so, when, and when you did, all she saw was the cloud and, and the rain, but it was, still was beautiful. I mean, it was really cool. It was a great experience, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it was an awesome experience. I just, uh, <laughs> I was kind of done walking. And it was yeah. only like three and a half miles. Yeah, it wasn't bad. You just go super slow. But yeah, we were on like Poly Poly 2, which is, yeah. you're taking really small, short steps. Yeah. Lunchtime. All right. Lunchtime. Yeah, lunchtime. Lunchtime, let's go eat. Good morning, day five. This is our view waking up. We're above the clouds. So today is the acclimatization hike. So we're gonna go up to the next camp come back down and sleep here so that way our bodies can get used to the altitude. One of the perks for early morning, <laughs> hot water, get to wash up, mm -hmm. get all clean. The sun came out. The sun came out. Yay. That was so much better. Beautiful morning. Here comes the clouds. It was like really sunny at the beginning of this day. Now it's getting cold again. I feel good. Cold. Woo! You good? Don't forget pole pole guy. Day five finished. We are here. So this is what our camp is going to look like tomorrow. Tomorrow we're spending the night, so take a look. Definitely looks a lot colder. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yep, now we just head back to camp. And we get to relax. It's our rest day, basically. Our yeah. guides and our porters, amazing. They have, yeah, totally made this trip possible for us. Day six. Sunset. Good night, y'all. Good morning. I can't see. I'm in a little cocoon. It's so chilly. It is 2.30 in the morning. We just got our wake-up call for summit day. Summit day. Which means we are going to, the top? going to the top. Yesterday, not yesterday, but the day before. I was feeling pretty nervous about it. I was like, oh no, are we gonna make it? But last night I felt a lot better and I stayed pretty warm. I'm just excited to do it. I feel like there's just been so much buildup. We've been waiting for this moment. And so it should be pretty crazy. Yeah, we're gonna get ready for the day and go to the, th the very top of the tallest standalone mountain in the world. <laughs> oh. Day seven. Day seven, let's go. Our last little meal before we head out. So we've got porridge and toast. I also have a granola bar on the side and I'm making myself some hot chocolate right now. No one's really hungry, but you have to eat because we're gonna be hiking for hours and you don't wanna get up there and get hungry. Only, only, like, seven, only like seven, only like seven hours straight up the hill. We're going, we're doing it. First stop. First little water break. Mm -hmm. Everybody feeling good? Doing good. How are you doing? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're making it to the top. Yeah. It's awesome. So you have to wear like at least like five layers on top, five layers of pants. <laughs> we got hand warmers everywhere. I'm, I'm starting to sweat. I'm pretty warm actually. I thought it was gonna be colder, but like I'm doing really good. So yeah, I've got my one earbud in playing the Hamilton playlist. <laughs> We're busting out the first aid kit for blister. Yeah. First blister of the trip well, on before it gets to that yet. point. Yeah, it. yeah we're, it's not even a blister yet, so that's really good. We can start to see the mountain now, and like the silhouette of it a little bit, and we get to see 
the entirety of, um, what is it, Moshi? Moshi. Moshi, the town over there. It literally looks like we're in an airplane, but we're not. We're on a mountain. <laughs> it's so, so cool. They're there up there, paving the way for us with the ice axe. Woohoo! We're being taken care of. They're even like holding our packs for us. I know, they're amazing. I don't know how they do it. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm glad. Yeah, me too. It's so nice. Snack break! Picnic on the mountain! <laughs> <laughs> Ever had a snack break at 17,000 feet? For 18,000? 18? Yeah, so, yeah we're 18. So we have kind of like, yeah, we are have, we have like five, five, 500 feet wow. to go. Because you have the crater camp with 18,500 feet. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. That's yeah, so why here we are, we are 18. Yes. Good job, Dean. Good job. We can finally see the summit right there. Woo! There. How are you feeling? I feel good. That was a heck of a hike. That one that was a hard one, but it was good. Yeah. Thank you for all your help, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. We just did the Western Breach. We're here at this glacier. And we're about to stop for lunch before we go to the summit that way. Lunch time. Okay, we're doing a heart monitor check, an oxygen level check. <laughs> they check this like every single day, twice just to, day. yeah, twice a day to make sure that we're climbing safe. A low oxygen score is 60. If you're below 60, you gotta get off the mountain. Oh man. And sickles. You see? Her oxygen level is 7. No, no, her oxygen level is A3. 83? A3, your oxygen level, heart rate is 76. Nice. I'm doing Crazy. good! Doing? <laughs> Crazy. That's, that's a good score! <laughs> so bad. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh man! man. <laughs> wow, that's better than I thought! <laughs> Final stretch, how much higher? 800 feet. 800 feet, and then we've reached the top. The very, very, very top. And there's clouds coming in. <laughs> I don't know if it looks that steep on camera, but it is steep. <laughs> I hear you're gonna have to use your hands and feet. Crawl up that. Holy moly. <laughs> Guys, I'm so out of breath. Sorry if I'm breathing a lot. But the glacier's there, the volcano's right there, and the peak is right up there. We can there. see the sign. We're so close. Check out that glacier before it goes behind the cloud, though. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know if you could see. My <laughs> eyes are so watery from the sun. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing my sunglasses all the time. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, push to the sign. We can do this. We're on top of Africa. Wow. This is amazing. Oh, and the sign. Thank you. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Yeah. Yes. Nothing can easy. That's right. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. We made it. We made it. We made it. Oh, that was so much fun. Let's take a picture. Right. <laughs> Baba Sante Baba. We made it. <laughs> we survived! We survived!
I can't believe we just did that. Ooh, this beard is getting long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's like, what, three days later? We are off the mountain. We are actually in a safari truck now. We hiked the tallest freestanding mountain in the world. It's so crazy having done it now. Like, what a once in a lifetime experience. That feels so awesome to say that we actually did that. Like, we accomplished that. That's so cool. And we're a normal family, by the way. We are not mountaineering people. We like, never I've never back backpacked before. <laughs> yeah. If we can do it, y'all can do it too. Definitely put this on your bucket list because this was just like the coolest experience. Keely Warrior did a fantastic job making sure we we're mm -hmm. all safe. We were fed, oh, yes. we were dry, the safety rules, everything. Yeah. All of us made it. They yeah, were, they, they were, were the phenomenal. Best. Yeah. Links in the description down below. Mm -hmm. Check out the description <laughs> down below. Put this on your bucket list. Um, go with Killing Warriors, they're phenomenal. Now we have another 24 hour plane ride ahead of us. <laughs> once again, thank you so much to Killing Warriors for inviting us on this once in a lifetime adventure. I feel so grateful and I just have loved the entire experience. And so thank you Killing Warriors and thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.